613 meteorologist Dave Osterberg with your Sky Tower radar forecast. 515 on this Thursday morning, not completely done with the showers. We got a few left over as the front still has to push through. And as it does during the morning hours today, we squeeze out a little bit more moisture, then we're done. And in fact, we'll get the sunshine back for everybody by the afternoon hours. It's going to be a pretty nice day once we scour these showers out this morning. 68 in Brooksville, 69 degrees in Lake, and you see a bunch of lower 70s from Newport Ritchie to Tampa to St. Pete to Brandon, Bartow. Yesterday, what, an, what a weird afternoon. I mean, from central Pinellas County over to Tampa and north, two to three inches of rain. Then everybody to the south, you got next to nothing. What a weird, weird day in the way it was set up. But again, at least part of our viewing area, the northern part, did get some much, much needed rainfall. The winds right now, they're kind of light, but the winds are going to pick up behind this cold front again. So what will happen is the front will come through, the winds will shift to the northwest, and they'll become pretty blustery. And in fact, we are expecting winds to gust over 30 miles per hour again today. So it's just a different direction of the wind. Instead of a south wind, it's going to be a northwest wind. So while that's happening, it's also going to be bringing in drier air, cooler air. And you will notice that difference tonight into tomorrow morning when we drop back into the 50s. I mean, the front is literally on our doorstep, so it's only going to be a matter of a couple of hours. It's through, and then we start that clearing process. And really, to be honest with you, once we clear skies out, it's going to be amazing all the way through the weekend, right into the beginning of next week. And our next rain chance after this morning is not until Wednesday. So the future cast does set up a very distinct line of rain at around 6 or 7 o'clock, just pushes it through, and then it clears out. That's how fast it happens. So around 11 o'clock or noon, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, had a little tickle in my throat when I woke up this morning, just working through it. Anyway, clear skies. Uh, we'll keep the sunshine tomorrow through the weekend. Of course, it will start to warm up through the weekend as well. But you know what? The good news is, is the drier air that's punching in today is going to stick around for the entire weekend as well. So it's not a case where it gets warm on Easter Sunday and humid. It'll be warm and dry. Quick early shower, then clearing. Windy, cooler today. Going over to the trop this afternoon, no issues. Just be a little windy going over the bridges. 75 degrees. Then tonight, we are down into the 50s. Much, much cooler, but you know, 56 degrees is not that bad. It's only a few degrees away from our normal low, which is about 61. And then tons of sunshine for your Friday. Tomorrow's one of those wall-to-wall -wall sunshiny days with tomorrow's high temperature around 77 degrees. Unfortunately, boaters got small craft advantage advisories for today but the better news is this wind is sort of a one-day deal things will be rapidly improving tomorrow and this upcoming Easter weekend for boaters should be beautiful temperature 75 today 77 tomorrow you see the lower 80s over the weekend by next Tuesday or so the humidity starts to come back in and then we bring our next front through windy conditions next Wednesday with a high of 82